Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you for coming by. Also, wow, that number. That's an omen to start off on. Good God. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for supporting Finds Out the Soap over the past 48 hours-ish, almost now. Uh, we still got, like, three hours left today, plus all of tomorrow. And maybe some secret stuff happening, who knows? It's a secret. Anyways, um... I'm gonna be doing a little segment called It Came From Itch Tonight, which is a staple of my stream where we kind of go through games from itch.io and curate them um, live on stream. Except these games have already been curated. These are the best of It Came From Itch. So, that's what's gonna happen. There's a lot of spooky stuff. There's some weird stuff. There's some silly things. So just a warning. You know, maybe check your volume. Maybe don't have this on full blast in your living room next to your mom and dad or something. Or maybe you should. I don't know. I don't know what kind of family you have. I'm not going to judge. Um, <laughs> uh, also, I think we just got raided by Simple Flips. Shout outs. I think that's an obligation. Thank you for the support. Thank you, everybody else, for coming by, telling people about the stream and such. Actually, you know what? Real quick. Um, let me show you. Look, you're all live on stream. You just scroll down a little bit. You hit right click. Open up the window. This is the page. You go down here, you fill out the things. Um, real quick. I'm gonna donate via PayPal. I suggest you all do something similar. Um, for an incentive tonight, me and my good friend, The Monotonist, we're talking about it. And we're gonna do, there we go. Oh, I need to use my debit through PayPal. It won't just take my PayPal balance. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Um, Mono and I are going to start up a little spooky podcast semi-regularly if we can raise $1,000, I guess. Let's say that. We were going to say 69420, but that got shattered in the last stream. Um, and then maybe if we could raise like 71K... Uh, I'll eat like I'll eat a hundred. I'll eat sixty-nine packets of ketchup live on stream. It would be awesome. Um, those three silly little numbers. Okay, there we go. All right. So start this off. And just, you know, if you frequent my streams, or maybe even some other people's streams who play games from Mitch, you're probably going to see a few familiar games. That sounds awful. No, I love ketchup. It's fine. It's totally fine. You know what? Make it... We could up, up the steaks if you think that's gross. I'll eat even more. It's good for you. But vinegar cleans out your insides. Um, so let's start it off. Here we go. October 31st, 2008. Inspector M. James is in a hunt for a serial killer called Lady Death. The last victim in the, uh, blah, blah, of this dreadful criminal was found in this cheap hotel where Lady James is currently investigating. One day, me speak well. Unfortunately for the inspector, the murderer is still there. I don't know, man. Lady Death? 
Also, it wasn't capitalized. It's kind of disrespectful. Is there any sound? Just the sound of me walking around. No, you don't know this game. Don't even... You've never heard of this before. This is a super serious game. But I have a serious thing. We're here. Catch a serial killer. Yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't like a Saturn eating his, his children painting. Which seems to be a staple. Oh my god. Wasn't it supposed to be Lady Death? That was definitely just like a crazy dude. With a bloody face. <sighs> Alright, that was Death Trips. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've sent that game to a million people to play on their own streams before, so... Some of you may be familiar, maybe not. Um, here we go. Here's a blast. In the past. Maybe you're familiar with, like, Twisted Metal. And Vigilante 8. So this is a spooky game in that vein by Modus Interactive, who's kind of a budding game developer now. You may have seen, like, Sanguine Sanctum before in stream or something like that. There's a lot of weird games, a lot of cool stuff. This is groaning metal or steel, which is a metal component. It's the same thing. <laughs> I just love the music and stuff. Insane. So we got the meat wagon. I think that's the only one that's unlocked like at the beginning. It's in rough shape, but it's the thought that counts. I love that transition screen too. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a meat car racing game. Actually, this is controlling way better than it was last time I played this. And there's like, you know, some giant behemoth monster. There's like little Playmobil people you have to run over. But everyone's been playing like Crash lately and stuff like that. And I don't know, I think we need to bring back. Wait, why did I just get flipped around? The, you know. Destruction Derby kind of racing game. Secrets. Also, this car kind of reminds me of that, that creepy Eddie Murphy one that's like been filmed going down the highway before. Which I don't know if you've run through that AI portrait thing yet. You should probably do that. Oh yeah, the handling is pretty rough. This is actually part of like a game jam that's happening right now too. There's like a PS1 horror game jam happening. I think this is probably the best one in it so far, but... There's a lot of other stuff. Yeah, the PS1 game jams are awesome. I mean, we're seeing a lot of stuff influenced by, like, Puppet Combo and stuff now coming out on Itch, which is great. Like, the horror genre on Itch over the past, like, three years has been pretty awesome. A lot of little hidden gems. All right. I think that's enough of this one. Oh, wait, we're almost done. I'll just finish the race. I think this is just pretty much like a rough demo, though, so it's just like the one race. This game's called Groaning Steel. Eh? Oh, yeah, speaking of faith, I have a game you might like in this pack, too. I guess that's it. 
Never mind. This is how it ends for the meat car. Look, it's like spraying blood out. Remember that Nickelodeon short, Inside Out Boy? Just like his car, Inside Out car. Just all practical effects. Nice meat car sliding down the highway. That would be dangerous though, there'd be accidents. There'd be wild animals. Whoa, what was that, like a 1080? On the wall? It's another advantage to have your, you know, vehicle made out of meat. Oh, there's another lap. The music's pretty awesome too, I actually have it turned down quiet for myself, but I don't know how you describe it. There's a lot of interesting noises happening though. What number are we at? We're at all the 69-69? Damn. It's almost a shame. I have to break those numbers. Also, whoever donated five dollars when that thing was that we when we needed four dollars for sixty nine four twenty, I appreciate your philanthropy. But why? Why have you done this? I'll never know. I mean, I guess 69, 421 is a pretty cool number, too. And we're just off the walls right now. But... Your heart was in the right place. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to get to at least 600... I'm not even gonna try to say a number. I didn't find the five power meets, so. Anyways, that was Groaning Steel. Check it out. Most interactive. Good stuff. Um, you know, since it's July, it's pretty, pretty hot out. It's pretty humid right now. We need, like, an oxygen tank <laughs> to breathe. Oh, you, you gave it away, man. Christmas. So let's do a little Christmas in July. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Here, let me get the stream up in my other window here so I can, like... See what's happening. For the numbers. I keep getting this Miller Lite commercial with, like, an alligator that has, like, a Miller Lite can for a jetpack. What are they doing? Who, what, who is that appealing to? Okay, I got it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I really want a Miller Lite now after seeing that alligator. Dude. Bro. Right, I played this one the other day. It's just like a double Santa Claus game, but, you know. I had to make the stupid Christmas in July joke. He's got no eyes. But you can juke around him pretty easily. Also, again, this is your warning for sound levels. Uh, I take no responsibility. Uh-oh. Apparently I have Discord sounds happening. That could be important, though. <gasps> oh, it's, it was Norix. Is that a gingerbread man? Thank you, Norix. He was just giving me a better donation tracker. Oh, there's there's gingerbread man everywhere. What is? Are they slowing me down? Just in time. We can't get a copyright claim for Santa Claus singing, right? That slow, it's like pitched down, so it's it's fine. It's not a problem.
Yeah, they're like gingerbread men caltrips. Oh, what? I think I have to get... Isn't that the same guy I just ran away from? I mean, it all makes sense in canon, too. Like, there'd be, obviously, dozens of Santa Claus. Maybe even some of them are robots. I know, we gotta watch out. The, the lawyers of Iron Maiden might, might find way too many similarities with Santa Claus and their properties here. I think I could probably just run around at the end. Can just, can I just leave? Need a key? Oh, there's stamina! Also, there's like a fine mist in, in Santa's house. So either we're all being poisoned with carbon monoxide or Santa just rips a mean vape. Okay, there's the key. And a present. I mean, Santa's a boomer. You know he's vaping and having all those monster ultras. Pretty sure I've seen a picture of that. That's it. I have the key. Oh, there's an upstairs. Yeah, or he lives in Silent Hill. Yeah, that's true. It's very possible. Carbon monoxide is invisible. What do we have? A carbon monoxide scientist in the audience tonight? What about Santa? Is he invisible? Doesn't mean he's not real. I don't really know what you're trying to say right now. Yeah, big carbon monoxide lobby in chat. Trying to put down the little man. The carbon monoxide lobby's gone on challenge for too long. I'm tired of it. I think that was the end over there. No! Oh! His kneecaps are. It's got Canadian kneecaps. You can't cure that. You got the little thumbs up emoji? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right, it's enough of that. It's enough of Santa. Also, the, yeah, he sees you when you're sleeping. Um, I had some other Christmas games, but they are just awful, so I'm not going to play them. Um, what else do we have here? I think I said that I play spooky games too, so let's play some a little scary, maybe. Kind of scary. This is room 237. It's from a movie called The Shinning. What was that? Oh, it's aerial keys. Let me get the mouse out of there. You can actually stay at the Stanley Hotel. Uh, it's in Colorado. It's not that bad. I'm thinking about doing that maybe at some point. Maybe maybe I'll do that as incentive. I'll go to the Stanley Hotel and we'll do like a ghost adventure stream. We'll get Zach Bagan in there. He'd probably be down. We'll pick up Mono on the way. Oh, it's the bear. 
It's like reasonably priced for like a giant creepy hotel in the middle of the fucking mountains, I guess, too, so. And you could actually book like a haunted room. What? Ah! And that's what'll happen to you. Is room 237 is supposed to be like the one that all the bad things happened in. <gasps> Do you see that? There's like jello that just came out of the ground. So you can get the blood hallway at some point. Also, let's see the outside. This is a neat idea for a game. Hmm. Wasn't there a level in the Rugrats PS1 game that was like this? That like was a take on The Shining? You guys remember that? It was pretty dark. 70k? Oh my god. It's a lot of it's a lot of money. Thank you guys. Um keep on getting those donations in. Look at that that little silly box under the stream. Ah! It's John Candy. Alright, we're almost out of here, I think. Yeah, insane. To think that we would still be doing this charity after all these years. Bringing all that goodwill into the world with the help of you guys. I guess this is how it ends. Why isn't he walking? Dad? Ah. I wonder if you could, if like, there is an end to this. I'm just gonna do it one more time. It's pretty. I don't know. It's a cool idea. Whoa. Yeah, the twins are definitely the scariest thing, I think, in the entire movie. Like, I never saw The Shining until I was probably, like, in my 20s, because I was a, a big baby. But I remember seeing the movie Twister when I was younger. Does anyone, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Lost well, control there. All right, so in that movie Twister, which is a weird movie in the first place, there's a scene where a drive-in movie theater is like decimated by a twister. But while it's happening on the movie screen, the scene from The Shining where, oh, there's some blood, where he sees the little girls is happening. And I remember see that scared me more than the movie Twister did. They're like, we want to play. Like that was basically my childhood in a nutshell, like being scared of moments that I saw on television like, I was scared of... I saw the trailer for Child's Play at one point. Probably should have seen a child psychologist after that, because I was scared of dolls for, like, you know... You know, until till this day. <gasps> Didn't see it. Yeah, it was the ketchup. Or, like, you know, you ever wander through the, the movie store into the horror section when you probably shouldn't have and seen some, like, weird VHS covers? They were banking on that. But then all those movies, you saw them later in life, and they were just all awful. Yeah, this is, this is rough. Like, even you can see, like, like the cover for the Gremlins movie looks scary, but then it's not really that scary of a movie. I think this is all procedurally generated, too, maybe. We got two pairs of twins. This is how it ends. Are they getting closer? No. Um, Fire in the Sky. I saw a scene from Fire in the Sky when I was probably like 10 years old. So I was scared of aliens. Like that scene where they put him on the 
on the table and they put the sheet over him, the alien sheet. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. That's an excellent movie, though. I'd recommend that to anyone. What's his name? Agent Doggett. I can never remember his name. All right, this is, this is the end. We got John Candy and the twins. It's over. All right, next game. What else do we have here? We got Loot Box Gungeon. Shout out to Loot Box. Oh yeah, this is some quality. It's a little taste of what you got on itch. My, I would have loved this game like 15 years ago. This is the storming. This is the actual storming of Area 51 where they just turn to goo after they get shot. Well, like an ineffective alien weapon too. They're just like slowly trudging towards you from another dimension. Yeah, it's just Call of Duty Zombies. It's, it's very satisfying though. I just kind of grabbed it because the name, Loot Box Gungeon. I could see this easily being like a Devolver Digital bootleg. Also that music. Oh my God. I need the loot boxes, but they're illegal now. This is totally how guns work too. Just an AK and an M4. Oh, that guy's face mask. What, what the hell is that? They have like bubbles in front of their face. It's great. Yeah, we need, guys, we need those donations so we can get those loot boxes open. Oh, that guy was doing like the John Lennon walk. Please. All right. I think, we, I think we've seen all there is to see in that one. Um, here we go. Well, here's something that you shouldn't do. Uh, game. It really ruined my intro there. There we go. You shouldn't, you shouldn't steal things. Okay, we're going in. He's got like the Twin Peaks sneaking music. Oh, uh, he's got. I think you just have to steal everything inside the bank. Not really spooky. Yeah, it's like some low poly thief simulator. I like the music though. Steal this desk. Let me take this whole board table, actually. I need one of these for my house. For when the family comes by. Oh, it's in two parts. Awesome. Get this chair out of here. I know you're saying that window's already open, but... It just feels better to sit on a chair that you threw through a window. Try it out sometime. Um, again, if we raise, <laughs> if we raise a thousand dollars during this, this block, the monotonous and I will do a semi-regular little spooky podcast about like cryptids and weird internet myths and, uh, I don't know, solve some puzzles. I, I don't know. We'll do all sorts of wild stuff. We'll go cryptid hunting. Oh. And then, if you're really crazy, yeah, let's get the whole safe. And we hit like 71k. I will eat a bunch of ketchup. It'll be packets, it'll be in a bowl, I don't know. 
For every $100 raised after 71K, I will eat another bowl of ketchup live. And I'll love it. No other food. Just a cup of water. Just like the guys do with the hot dogs. Slide it all down. I, you don't even need the water. Ketchup has got to be mostly water. How much calories are in like a tablespoon of ketchup? We'll do it to like a safe degree. We'll get all my calories from the day from ketchup. And we'll see if Soylent will sponsor us and to, for like, you know, like a ketchup flavor. The sugar would kill you. It's for a good cause. I'll brave the sugar. I mean, you don't know me. I've eaten some sugar in my life. Would probably kill a lesser man. We need to make a shortcut through this room to that room. There we go. There we go. No, I'd seriously rather eat ketchup than like sour candy these days. At least it's like more savory. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. Should I not be in the bank? Oh, we got some Kevin McLeod. This is a good Kevin McLeod track. This is probably one of the best. What would we do without that guy? Um, let me load up that music. Seventy thousand three hundred twenty-seven dollars. Oh my god! Do you think that's enough money to make make a person? make like a golem out of that amount of cash um what should i play next here we go this is another developer who i really like uh puppet combo this is a new game that they're working on it's called evil clowns also volume warning it's super damn loud let me turn that down must have dozed off. Man, I missed the rest of the fair. Hey, where are my friends? The funhouse must have closed. What the fuck are you doing in your life where you pass out in a funhouse? It's creepy in here. I need to find a way out. What are these coins? Oh, they're pizzas. I mean, you... There must have been some decisions. Wait, I don't even have a gun yet! I don't have any way- OH! God! Yeah, I love this. This is awesome. I'd like- I'd like to have a fighting chance somehow. I know you can get a gun somewhere. Where is it though? these pizzas. I have a flashlight, maybe? I hear a chainsaw. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not chill there. Well, that clown model is awesome. Big clown with a chainsaw. Also, I can't see where I'm going. The, the uh, post effects are... A little rough on me. Blah! I keep coming back to this one room. I like the music too. And again! Getting stuck in the Rob Zombie room. Just try to kite him in, I guess.
Oh no, now I'm behind him. I know you're expecting me to make like a thick joke about that clown, but no. I should respect that clown. Where are the guns? <laughs> I thought I, I, I tested this earlier. I found like a shotgun and a pistol like right away. Now there's like a little clown chasing me. Keep walking in circles. What are these? Anyways. I guess it's good that there's coins. Oh no. Yeah, that's bad. Well, that's evil clowns. I'm not gonna wander around in that hallway for too much longer. Let me turn it back. But... Um, what else do we have here? Converted paranoid. There it is. Okay, here's one that I played like a million years ago. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Paranoia. Manhunt for escaped serial killer. They yeah, like that clean desktop. Oh, it's Rob. Ah, hey, glad I caught you. Listen, uh, I had to run out on an emergency, but I think I left my dinner on. Uh, would you mind going to my apartment to make sure I'm not burning the place down? Uh, thanks. Look, I gotta run. Uh, I'll get you something for your troubles on the way back. Hey, Rob. Look at this, like, one-room apartment with, like, gigantic vanity kitchen cabinets. Huge stove. Maybe, maybe you could break up some of these cabinets and make some walls or something. I don't know. It's, like, <laughs> so huge. All right. Hmm. Oh, that was the phone. Let me let me know when all is well. It's so weird seeing like an old iPhone these days. Feels like that was so long ago, but it really really wasn't. It feels like the lights came back on. I'm assuming this is Rob's apartment. Click on it. Oh, by the way, I left the key hidden in the hallway as per usual. So this isn't the first time Rob has, has made me do this. Stack of books, bowl. Text me already. I don't like these games, Rob. So apparently that is stuck on the screen now. Here's the key. Most people would take like 10 second stops. I mean, that sounds like a personal problem. Um, excuse me? What does that say? Searched, oh, I haven't searched anything? Agave. Are you sure you're okay? Say something at least. Well, there's no key. This is a bad trick to play on your friends. Turn the lights off in the hallway. Oh, there it is. Keep texting them. This is like some jigsaw level shit. Just text me, I'm getting worried. If you found the key, go into the apartment and shut the door behind you. Heart beating. Someone coming?
Oh my god. You guys. Well, it's been a few years since you were born, and we're so glad you came into our time. Is that, is that like a Beach Boys song? That couldn't have been. What the hell was that? I just, I turned it off because I was afraid it was at first, but. Uh, ha it's someone's birthday. Happy birthday. Actually, Twitch has gotten a lot better about VOD muting now. Uh, it should only be like, if they find something, just like that one little portion they get. All right. So earlier we were talking about um, Faith. An Airdorf, the developer of Faith. This is another game they made. It's called The Wind, based on a movie. If you like Faith, you want a little compartmentalized experience, it's a good game to play. Day one, The Wind is Blowing. Lizzie, Isaac, Emma, and Gideon. Damn it, I keep clicking outside the window. Yes, the Mortis man. Let's collect these clothes. Wolves. I love that wolf. Get back to the house. Man, he gets your gun. Wait, where's the ammo? Ah! Oh, well, I beefed it. Oh, there's more. Come on! Oh, I got him. You can only get him when he's running? Come at me. Oh, they, res they respawn. Yeah, it is. It's got some Oregon Trail vibes for sure. Lights coming from Emma and Gideon's. Guess I'm taking a walk. <gasps> it's a bad omen. Especially when, uh... What the hell's that? There's like a little... S. Hmm... <laughs> I think he... it's just like a little... A little Lost Woods maze. You go down here. There we go. I mean, walking to your neighbor's house can be be crazy. This was endless. It's always the witchcraft. Where's your gun, Lizzie? And then there's just a goat outside. Remember the way back. Emma is dead. I guess Gideon's just away. The preacher comes to visit. Yeah, I'm sure he's a nice guy. He seems like a, like a good guy. Oh! Wasn't supposed to touch him. <laughs> I mean, what am I, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. Mara, take her of souls. It's, it's just because he didn't go to church. Yeah, it's all based like on a movie, so there's not a lot of story to it. But it's still pretty cool. And unlike Faith, it only takes a little while to play through. 
Well, I guess... Faith isn't really that long of a game. <laughs> Got got. It's an excellent, excellent little game though. Airdorf is great. All the the faith games and stuff. I think there's a new demo too, but just like a good little thing on its own. Um. All right, this one's called Crushing Darkness. There we go. Oh, just a block. So yeah, we're underwater. Some weird shapes around. Yeah, that would be great. Just walking around the bottom of the ocean, seeing like some, some, some blue eyes couple feet away. I guess we're just in a suit or something. I don't know if we can get eaten by that or not. Yeah, it's just like low, low, low poly sub nut. But if you have like basilophobia, that's that's what it's called, right? I think it's something like. Or is it noctof? No, noctophobia is fear of the dark, right? One of them is is the fear of of deep water, and then the fear of like giant objects underwater, like you know, having to swim next to like an oil rig or something like that, like the giant or like a big boat. Just like having a big slimy hole right next to you. There's like a fear for that too. Which I can identify with. I hate that. Be all like covered in like. Oh, yep. Definitely wants to eat you. Are they getting bigger? Megalovasophobia. Oh, I guess I got eaten. Is that a plane? There's like a plane crash over there. Yeah, just like just like ended. I think it's more of the journey for this one. It's got like a neat atmosphere though. I think the idea is you see like a light in the distance and you start walking towards it and then it just wants to eat you. Which is pretty much how it happens, I think, in the ocean. All right, I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, there we go. This is a good little take on, on a game that's been super popular over the past few years, but in a wholesome way. I played this the other day, but I thought we could take a look real quick. So what do you think this is uh, a play on? Yeah, this is this is really good. I love this one. Looks pretty familiar. I remember that being that loud last time. Is that capybara? Please. Please let me leave. He hasn't seen that bad. Do you see the crosshair too? 
The first time I played this, I thought there was definitely something stuck on my screen. Yeah, it's just like PT, but with like a cute twist on it. And there's just like things everywhere. And they all have faces. But it's still one of the better PT esque games I've ever played. Which. Not a, not a very tall list, but I think she's supposed to do something else in that part. Bum, bum. So yeah, PT is just all about doing little things to progress the game. You have to like look at pictures, look up at certain things. Yeah, you can jump in this. There we go. It took me like 20 minutes to find last time I played the game. You have to like find gloves to be able to actually pick things up in this game. Now you're ready for this to be melted into your brain. It's the party. Smiley face, double smile, double smile, normal smile. Oh, you scared me. Oh, that's a sad face, so. No, we gotta start over. Normal, double, double, normal. Open the bathroom. And then you get like the ability to sprint. Did we actually hit the meme number? We hit it. Kind of. We went over it by a dollar. Well done. But technically, yeah, we hit it. All you. Oh, yeah, there's like a YouTube video for one part. And I think you just jump out of the game. I think? Yeah, it's like, it was just like a, it's a video of like a snake or something like that. I forget if it's even related to the game at all. I think it's just like a little jade. Feels like you're in Desert's head. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Whoa. Yeah, there's some frogs. I forgot if it changes a few other times. And then there's a party. There's like a fish guy. Fish people. Look at this lizard. I think that's my favorite thing in the whole game. I don't know why. Love that guy. I 
There we go. So that's what you're supposed to do to actually get out of the game. To like jump, is that Kermit's hand? It's like some, some platforming in first person. Not my favorite thing to do. Man, it's like a big dinosaur. I'm not even gonna attempt it. You might not even be able to do it until like the last hallway. But yeah, it's called QT. It's on itch. Definitely check it out. Hope the developer makes some other similar games. Yeah, just back to the frogs. Okay. Well done. To end the game though, you're actually supposed to, like so I was trying to jump up like through the ceiling like that. If you get out, there's like a whole different area up there. And then the game ends. Okay. Go. Game mode. Just another scary house game. Super low poly. Oh, I can't even run. Move the camera with mouse. That's the worst, and they don't give you the ability to actually like sprint or something. Like, okay. Maybe I won't do this whole game then. Yeah, so we go for the little cute game to this, which is definitely not the theme here. Pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty different looking game. Especially that dripping. Come on. How's anyone supposed to sleep with that? Hear that? Oh, that phone sound. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's me. Sorry? It's me. I can't really hear you. You sound... Yeah. Who the, what is some little kid just call my house? Oh. Flashlight. Why would you just uh, you call someone and say and that? Like you're running, so I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. Well, if you're not mad at me, then I'm... No, it's just that you're the last person that I didn't want to lose. This is a very passive-aggressive telephone conversation. Another key. I think it's just a find the key game. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was like a trailer hitch. It's actually a noose. So I can't tell if that was like a robot or a guy. We're in Minecraft. Is that Minecraft? Who's the, the scary guy in Minecraft? What's the scary creepypasta from Minecraft? Hero brain? Maybe now that Minecraft is getting popular again, we'll get more creepy passes out of it. That'd be amazing, right? <laughs> no, that one actually is kind of cool. 
Do I have to go back upstairs now? God. Nope. You can't. You cannot physically go up the stairs. I mean, kind of misspoke. I don't think Minecraft was ever not popular in the past 10 years or whatever. I think it just was the fact that Fortnite got so huge. What? Did I miss another key over here? I think that the people who've been playing Minecraft that are still like, have been playing it probably the entire time, more or less. Hmm. Map dripping. Lever. There we go. Are you sure you're okay? No. Nope. Usually you're calm, but you're really paranoid today. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that you don't have to fight your battles alone, if I'm here. I'll always be here. Okay, thanks. Please fix the sinks in the house. Yeah, I've never really actually got into it myself, like I was... I like, kind of missed the Minecraft craze originally, and then when I got into that, I was just playing like other survival games, I guess. And now when I play it, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just like, hey, I think I'll play not this game. There we go. The power's back on. Now we can leave. Right? Oh no. It's him! Then now you just quietly retire. Yeah, that was Minecraft Steve. Whoops. This is just like a weird little game. No, oh, that was that was Steve. It's always nice to relax here after some Minecraft. Wow, a human. It's just a game about some fish. Whoa, lost them. It's about a catfish. I think at that point I would be a little worried. One of us. One of us. <laughs> One of us. Oh. There's a dream. Just a dream. And of course, stages of grief. Just hop in. Yeah, I don't know. I just like that one. Nothing, nothing to it.
Just some weird games from Itch. It was actually for a game jam. It was made for the Tasting Room Jam, summer 2019. There was like an atmospheric game jam. Yeah, it was good. What? There we go. The cursor was like a little ear of corn. And we got some aliens. Okay. Giant UFO in the distance. What is he, what's he doing? Is that supposed to be not doing anything like that? I think it's supposed to be like trying to take me. Hello? Now right, we gotta collect the scarecrows apparently. How is that? Oh, the invisible wall. Yeah, this is not working as intended. There's supposed to be like music and aliens and stuff. Don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, there we go. Just a giant eyeball. Just bringing us over here. I can't believe they unabashedly use that X Files sound. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Some weird looking scarecrow. Stairs are a little challenging. You kind of got to go across them. It doesn't... Come on. You can do it. The aliens are manipulating the gravity. I think I think you actually can't go up the stairs. I think maybe that's like out of bounds. We had high hopes, though. and wander through the cornfields. For a little while. What the hell's that? Just one giant corn plant. I think it is. Nah, it's outside bounds. Oh well. Alright, next game. Did that, big running steel, did heist, Hell's Pizza. Okay, here we go. What a horrible dream. Can't go back to sleep. Just yet. And those lights on. Yeah, this one's called Hollow Head. The catfish game is called like Say Ta or something like that. I think it's just catfish in in French, maybe. Might have to be correct on that though. Where did all the city lights go? Yeah, it's not ominous at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I could check afterwards. Something smells terrible. 
There's the culprit. I gotta go check it out. What do you just have like a bucket of slop under your kitchen sink? Oh, it's just garbage. I think I can hear someone's voice in the vent. What is the vent? Oh. Well, just take that garbage out. No? Shouldn't. Or maybe there's like a garbage room. There we go. Did I just hear someone call for help? It sounds like it came from the garbage room. Better go downstairs to check it out. Yeah, I don't think that would be my first reaction. I think I would just be like, hey, maybe I should tell somebody. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I don't know where that flashlight came from. Can't read what that says. Okay, but I need it right now. It's always a trash shoot. I'm surprised it wasn't just like some cryptic puzzle though, like in uh, in Silent Hill 2 when you have to drop that juice down that garbage chute to like get the key out. Oh my god. You hear that? You wanna keep going? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe go back to your apartment. I love it when a game has like a good monster that isn't just like a Unity asset that's bought from the store. It's like some creepy thing they made on their own. Hello? There's a thing chasing me, so can't really stop here. So this apartment building is it's pretty scary on its own. I think I just went backwards. Did I come through this door? <laughs> I guess let's not go that way. Yeah, it's like making sound behind me, I think. I think I may have to juke around him. Did I come this way? I think I'm just going in circles. I think I heard him down here. No? I'm literally just walking in the same circle over and over again. Free me. I don't know if I'm going backwards or what. I think there's like a second level. There we go. No? Maybe? Oh, uh, it's not good. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I thought it started me back in the apartment. <clears throat> Baby! What are you doing out here selling weed at 3 a.m.? Do you want to keep going? I mean, I don't have a choice. Maybe don't, maybe don't investigate people screaming on your own. Okay, here we go. The bloody down here sign. This is why you just call the cops or something.
Also, thank God I don't have to find, like, batteries and stuff. That would just be brutal. Or, like, shake the flashlight or something stupid like that. Some dumb mechanic. Um... Is that the end? Uh, I caught him for you. Wait, so am I? Who am I? My... My bad or good? I just stab this guy. You can hide, but it won't stop till you kill the monster inside. Hollow head. But wait, but wait, 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 wait. But if he's got a hollow head, then there's. What are the implications? That was a good one. I like that one. It's good, some good atmosphere. Pretty simple. No, like, zombie, like, stock asset, like, trudging behind you. Like, actual cool monster. Um, speaking of... of such things... Here's another game that's been pretty popular lately. For subject matter, I guess I should say. This one has like a little bit more substance to it, but. The back rooms thing is has been pretty popular lately. And we got like major sepia tone. See, this is this is not what I'm thinking of when I think of the back rooms, though. Are there supposed to be stairs? I thought it was just all flat. Individual rooms. It looks like there's like wallpaper in this one. I feel like wall wallpaper implies like someone did some work there. I don't know. Yeah, it looks neat though. I think this is also part of that PS1 game jam. How oh, the doors kind of melt away. Yeah, it's just his take on it. It's true. True that. Yeah, check out the, uh... Oh. It's a radio. If you're listening to this, I'm sorry. You're probably wondering where you are. Short answer is... Nowhere good. Yeah, keep getting those donations in. Somewhere back in the real world, you went through a door that wasn't a door, and I didn't look through the that. Now you're here, in the place they call the back rooms. I'm living behind these tapes in the hope that maybe someone finds me, or I can help others find an exit. Keep your wits about you. There are things wandering these halls. I want you dead or worse. We're gonna go back out that way. Yeah, but I guess they kind of add a little bit more than just wandering around the back rooms. There's obviously something else going on here. Which, if anyone's gonna make an actual game with the concept, I guess you'd have to to do a little of that. I like the music, too. This is going to get super confusing, though, because it all looks exactly the same. It might even be the same place. Maybe. Yeah, it's just like animal crossing voices. Wish I could tell you something, didn't read that. I tried to draw a map, and only gave myself a headache. This place is a mind of its own. I think I can hear it moving, even now. Doors where there weren't doors before. Well, obviously. Means we have to backtrack, I guess. Was that the same scream from the last game? Okay, yeah, this is actually what I would imagine the back room's looking like. Kind of like more... I don't know. I guess it's just the filter they're using here.
Yeah, it's like the, the basement now. Yeah, this is a cool idea. Though. I don't know how much I'm going to spend on it, but... What? That was, like, completely different looking. Also, again, they don't give you, the, like, the option to sprint at all. You're just kind of, like, going at the same speed the entire time. Especially in a game where you're exploring, kind of gets annoying. I was at an old gas station finishing a smoke by the dumpsters. The next thing I knew, I felt myself falling back through the wall behind me, like it wasn't there. When I got up, I was in a labyrinth of yellow rooms. And something inhuman was shambling in the next hallway. I was too shocked to scream. I saved my life. Yeah, it just seems kind of more like narrative driven. Although I heard something. Something breathing. Yeah, <laughs> he's carrying cape tape cassettes with him. The story starts to fall apart when you look at it closely. All right, well, I just kind of want to take a look at this one stream for a minute. Because I think this is probably one of the better Backrooms uh, inspired games I've seen on Itch recently. I know actually the Puppet Combo people are working on one too. Oop. Uh, I think they delayed it though. Because there's been so many lately. Um, there we go. This one's pretty stupid. I just love the, the uh, rendering on the model in this one. Be careful, the face man is coming for you. Also, the stamina bar just kind of looks like a tank top. I like the the compass is not really the fitting of the game well really either. Where is this bastard? So obviously it's supposed to be like a Pac-Man kind of thing. Yeah, the head bob. Where are all the cookies and stuff? Where are the, the, the things? I mean, poor Pac-Man has been turned to an evil game so many times now. Well, this is one of the funnier looking ones I've seen. I heard something. I don't know about that sound effect. Why is it doing that? Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, because of that. <laughs> uh, just instantly chomped. It was like right behind me. All I saw was a molar, and it was over. But I mean, you get the idea. It, it actually looks like something from Doom, though. Yeah, if you blinked, you miss it. It's just stupid. It's just stupid, Pac-Man. You hear him? He's hunting. Oh, he's got like a trail blood out of him. It looks like a Langolier. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Yeah, the new Stephen King's Langolier is coming out soon.
Did that. Did that. Sailor's Grave. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not Pac-Man, but you're getting the dots. It's like reverse Pac-Man or something. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it was actually a Langolier. All right, you saw the warning. It's another little underwater game. Shark does not give a shit, though. I feel like the, like the ship is falling off a cliff or something. Little shark. Or maybe it's not the sharks that are trying to kill you at all. Yeah, this would be awful. Yeah, they don't care. They're just friends. Old E. I remember playing this, but I don't remember what the objective was. <laughs> All those tiny skeletons. And then there's a giant skeleton. What aren't they telling us? I don't think that's how it would work. Pretty sure if you were on a sinking ship, your body would not like just be where your skeleton would just be where you like you were when it sunk. <laughs> like <laughs> Pretty sure the water No, uh, those weren't kids. Those were just little skeletons. Damn, what are you guys, Tinder now? Just because someone's a little skeleton, they're a kid. Jeez. I'm missing all the transmitters. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Mmm, okay. I thought there was like a Scooby-Doo enemy or something like that that chased you around, but I could be wrong. <laughs> it's like sharks casually swimming on by. Yeah, it could be a slender situation. There they are, there's skeletons. There he is. Wait, you just throw me? That's, I was not expecting that. I thought this was a different game entirely. I thought there was like a scuba man that came after you. Why would there be like a shirtless butcher man in a sunken ship? I don't really understand that. <laughs> There's like little sharks everywhere. It's like four. It's like what is there a big shark? Maybe is there a mom shark here? And then it's just like random shirtless serial killer. <laughs> yeah, you want to get a shirt? <laughs> It's got like such a neat atmosphere and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look too bad. It's a neat looking game. 
there's something here, and then just a butcher, man. Good. Trying to find the butcher one more time. Move on to the next game. I didn't even really get to run. He was just like behind me after I picked up one of the transmitters. So. Uh oh, here's something. Yeah, you see, I mean, just go to any Fourth of July party. This guy's probably there. There we go. I don't know, maybe I'll actually beat it. Maybe. Where the, where the hell is he? We're going all the way. We get off the ship. James Cameron. Oh, well, you actually do get to run away, but he's not affected by the water at all. That's enough of that. Um, I got time for a few more. Did lost in the back rooms with a QT. Um, you do this one. Shush. See that spooky smoke effect? That was the sound. Oh my god. Is this the librarian from Ghostbusters? Every time I jump, I accidentally burn my hands. Ah! Oh my god! Her mouth! animation when you jump which is just like putting your hand in the candle another candle I mean clearly we broke into someone's house breaking through the floor they're just trying to sleep The jumping animation got mixed up with the swimming one. Oh, you're right. It kind of does look like that. Wonder what happens if if they catch us. <laughs> oh, is it still stuck in there? What are you doing? Need to see a doctor. Shh. No, please. Shh. 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty dumb. You got shushed. There we go. We got a little, little tall poppy here. I'm sure you all know. You have one voicemail message. Hey, honey, I the legend. my first in the graveyard today. Do you mind if you stop by after work and pick it up for me? Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Why am I in a mausoleum already? The controls are not working either. I think it, like, started me from a different spot. You have one voicemail message. Hey, honey, I forgot yeah, this my isn't purse how the game's supposed to work. Do you mind if you stop by Something's to messed up. up for me? Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. There's like, it, it thought I was like playing from a checkpoint or something like that, I think. Let me see if this fixes it. Nope. That's weird. Well, I guess Tall Poppy is broken. Why, why would you do that? You have one voicemail. I can't listen to that again. <laughs> oh, that voice. Um. Nice. Seventy thousand seven hundred and seventy seven. That means you all win. What is this guy? Are you okay? What did they do to your mouth? What happened here? Okay. Is this just Baldy? I mean... Not exactly. I guess kind of. It might be the same engine, but it's definitely not Baldy. I guess time will tell. <laughs> Oh my god, he looked like the neighbor. Did you see his eyes? They looked like Hello Neighbor's face. Why are they just pacing there? Oh, did he kill that guy? Where is that sound from? <laughs> it's so bad. Mr. Chef. Yeah, it's just like a... Clearly. A little, little baldy. And a payoff game. I think that's pretty much all of them except for did face man death trips crushing there was a baking simulator game but it's like i'll play it for a little while it's really hard to control i played it a few weeks ago and i was able to figure it out but baking simulator i lost i lost my skills Ooh, that cake looked awful. Yeah, so basically, you control uh, the, the one guy, but you could also make it so you control, in, like, a hand one at a time. There you go. See, I, I had it down before. It's really pain in the ass to get used to. There you go. 
So you gotta you gotta control all the fingers. Come on, get the egg, man. Just need that sugar. And then you have to like keep changing control between what you're actually you're doing. Come on. Um space bars to grab. Yes. Let's dump out that tea. Oh no. <laughs> Sir, please stop. Stop motioning with your fingers in that way. Get that spoon. So, as you can see, it's pretty tough. Uh, Self-raising flower. If you spend some time actually getting used to the controls, though, it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> His arms are all messed up now. Oh. Yeah, why? there's like lightning and, and rain. It's just atmospheric. I'm sure nothing spooky is going to happen. Let's try to cut this butter. Mm hmm. Yep, that's a good way to get a knife. <laughs> Let's cut this butter. Maybe I should use the other hand, actually. Come on. Come on, you got this. Just grab it. Need more fingers on it? Cutting that butter. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can't accidentally, like, cut off your thumbs, though, or anything. <laughs> All right, take your hand off. There we go. What's this? Oh, his elbow broke. What is this? Oh, it's like a rolling pin. <laughs> Let's turn on the radio. Oh, you can. I don't hear anything. I guess we won't be doing that. <laughs> it's like... Having some major issues. Yeah, that's definitely gonna meet the VOD. Alright. Nothing too crazy there. That's pretty much all of what I had. I have a couple more, but they're going to take way longer. Like the tall poppy game not working. Um, actually, what's this? But yeah, we're going to be wrapping up here in a minute anyways. Minute 30? What the hell is this? There's literally nothing on the screen right now. It's just like someone typing. There's just like some extra stuff I had thrown in, in case I ran out of other games. And of course it doesn't work. It's fine though. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like we're definitely me doing that podcast, I guess. Um, maybe I'll eat that ketchup too just for fun. So I think we're we're a couple hundred dollars away from the catch up. So, so, um, again, if it's your first time watching Vine Sauce's Hope or anything like that, there's a stream. Come on down here. Click on that donate button. There you go. It'll be open well into the weekend. 
Hit up the Fan Gamer store. We got the Chrono.gg store, which is doing, you know, quite a bit. Um, there's at least a dozen games over there. So thanks so much, everybody, for coming by. Stay tuned in. There's some more, more things coming up right now. Um, here, let me unmute myself in Discord so Beer can talk to me if he wants to. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's coming up yet after this. There's something, something special. What's up, Gear? Nothing much, you. Not much. All set when you are. Yeah, I'll flip back over. Thanks. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you for coming by. And thank you for your donations. All right. We're back.